Do we have a special guest this morning, a wonderful actress, Cloris Leachman, of course. Do you realize that 11 years ago, I interviewed the cast of MASH when they first went on the air. And when I walked in the room, McLean Stevenson, Loretta Swit, Wayne Rogers, Alan Alda, you know what they said to me? Hello? You look like Cloris Leachman. They said to me. They did? Now, Thank you. listen, I was very, very flattered. Very, very flattered. Did you know that she was Miss Chicago? And she was runner-up for Miss America. So when they said that, I said, oh, yes. Do you think we look alike? Do you think? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, we look alike. Put our head faces together. Do we, now, put our faces together. We look at, do we look alike? Mm. You uh, think so? You know, uh, my face is all different kinds of parts put together. And if I wear my hair like yours and make myself up in your, your shaped eyebrows and your mouth, and I could probably look very much like you. That's the marvelous thing about your face. It's so pliable, it's so malleable. Because you, like, as in the last picture show, for example, you can be dowdy, you can be drab, you can be haggard, but then you can also be elegant and glamorous and wonderful. So can everybody. Not, not really beautiful people, I don't think. L like like um, mm -hmm. Elizabeth Taylor. I mean, how can she really look bad? I saw her once. Yes. Did she look bad? No, she looked good. But anyway, I did see her once. But I mean, no, nobody's but She does have a little mole somewhere. I, I think I saw one. And you She's know what? not perfect. There's a hair growing out of that mole. Oh, it? it's <laughs> awful. It's, of course, I like moles. I've, uh, I've put moles on lots of times. <laughs> in fact, in uh, Young Frankenstein, I was being made up and uh, just about to put the mole on with the tweezers right there. And I was eating some scrambled eggs, and I never, we never found the mole. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. I mean, we really searched everywhere. <laughs> it's gone. I once drank an eyelash and a cup of tea. <laughs> there was, it was gone from my eye, and there was a cup of tea, and you don't even know this thing. You were just recently on the network, Frau Bühle, Bühle. Blücke. Blücke. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. Why did the horses whinny in Young Frankenstein? I was trying to figure it out. Why did they whinny? Why did they? They were funny. terrified of me. You were a terrible person. Well, they had to mind me, I'm sure. I'm sure when, uh, before uh, Young Frankenstein, oh, yeah, oh, Frankenstein got that. back, I was probably running the castle pretty well all by myself. In memory of your boyfriend. <laughs> he was my boyfriend! <laughs> <laughs> I hope you all saw Young Frankenstein. You must have had a riot we doing did. that film. What a cast. What a cast assembled. I walked on stage once when, uh, and ruined a shot. It was the shot where uh, he says, lift the candlestick. <laughs> And she goes whizzing around uh, the bookcase into the secret room. Oh, yes, oh, yes, that, well, yes. Had to do it all over again. Rig it and everything. It was awful. Oh, so it was embarrassed. delightful. You know, uh, Cloris has been very busy because she has five children. Five children? How in the world have you managed everything to hold it all together? Five children? Don't you know about zero population, Cloris? Well, I'm providing leaders. I yes. see. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. No, they're all pretty much grown up now. Everybody's taller than I am now, and uh, my youngest daughter's in Paris, and so, je uh, oh. parle And uh, I just went to Paris. Isn't that wonderful what your children provide for, for you in your old age? They, here I am having to go to Paris now. Oh, it's oh. so <laughs> difficult. <laughs> Oh, très difficile. <laughs> she, now, well, she has done a lot of things. The next thing she's doing, which we're going to be seeing here on 1011 Strong, she's going to play the role of a nun. It's called Dixie Changing Habits, and it airs February the 16th. Tell us briefly what, it, what it's all about, Lois. This is based on uh, a real person uh, who was arrested. Uh, she's a madam. Uh, and the third time she was arrested, the judge said, get thee to a nunnery and Go. sent her to a convent. And I'm the mother superior, uh, Mother Eugenio, in the convent. And Suzanne Flechette is the madam. This is a prayer, Dixie, not a tirade. I can't help it. Yes, you can. You're angry at me, not God. Just talk to him. Can pretend I'm not even here. 
Once again, please. Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. Where there's hatred, let me so love. Where there's doubt, faith. Where there's despair, hope. Where there's darkness, light. Where there's sadness, joy. Good. It's a nice prayer. Yes. An old favorite of mine. The first thing Sister Agnes made me memorize during my postulate days. You had to do this? More than once, I'm afraid. Why? In Sister Agnes's eyes, I was somewhat rebellious. Not unlike you, I would think. I wanted things my way. Why don't we continue together this time? He shot it in Thibodeau. You may have seen the Blue Nun commercials. That's a plantation that was shot in the same place. Where is it's that? A very famous, beautiful old plantation uh, about an hour and a half from New Orleans. Ah. You like your role? Oh, it's excellent. Yeah? It's serious. Drama dramatic. This is a drama. Um, but wonderful humor is in it, wonderful humor. And um, my former husband, George England, um, uh, was executive producer and directed it and really is, it's his. And my, our third son, George Jr., uh, is the associate producer and a very gifted musically. He plays the saxophones and the flute and lots of other things. But, um, and we have a recording studio at home. <coughs> so. He, we did all the mixing, uh, even this week, he's very tired from making this picture very good for all of you. It is, uh, I'm, I'm very grateful to be part of, uh, or privileged, I think, to be part of his family. Uh, that this man who's created this for you, you'll see how, what I know of him. You'll, it's visible in this production. It's. Um, it's the finest, highest quality mm. production, that, and uh, that that means a lot to me. Quality and excellence, and uh, the music is one uh, one uh, way you can tell all the, the different kinds of music uh, that are in it. One oh, I do sing a strain of Ave Maria, and uh, on key. Oh, I hope so. Oh. <laughs> and then my son comes in with a saxophone. You'll see that in the second act of the, uh, when she first goes to the convent, you'll see that. And then there's a little strain uh, where I'm singing a little um, Gilbert and Sullivan. Da-dum, 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 another octave. But you don't really know that I'm the one who's singing. Oh, we'll know but now. But you know now. Right. Yes. We're going to be look for looking forward to seeing it February the 16th. It's called Dixie Changing Habits. It's a CBS uh, movie, Wednesday mm -hmm. night movie. She's a fine actress. We know that we've seen her work in the past. Hey, hang in there, kid. <laughs> Pleased to have met you. Loris Leachman, she is the best, uh, bar none. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> bar none. <laughs> okay. And 10, 11 morning continues. Make funny jokes in Lincoln, Nebraska. <laughs>